start recording. All right, hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I want to play a video for you, and I want you to just listen. Prime Minister Dr. Mahathir Mohammed said that the Trans-Pacific Partnership, or TPPA, is a new world order strategy by a powerful pact of people led by the U.S. to dominate the world economy. Speaking at the international conference titled New World Order, Recipe for Peace or War, organized by the Pardana Global Peace Foundation, Dr. Mahathir said globalization and borderless trade are being used to establish a one world government. Basically, it is about having a world government. We should abolish all states, all abolish all states, all nations, all, all nations, all borders, borders. But instead, have only one world government. To truly have a and one world, world government, government is to be by certain people, elites, people who are what? What did he say? Let's play that part again. Be by certain people, elites. People who are very rich, very intelligent, rich, very in powerful, intelligent, many ways, powerful. They are the ones who will govern the world. They will govern the world. There was not much talk about democracy or, or choice of leaders. Instead, there was to be a government by these elites who elites. enforce their rules. He can't pronounce the word elites. Elites want to reduce world population to 1 billion, says, well, whatever. The Georgia Guidestone says it is their plan to keep the population under 500 million. Okay, moving on. On everyone in this world, and for those who are unwilling... This was in 2015, people. ...to submit to them, there will be punishment. Punishment. And the peace that we will get from this is the peace of the graveyard. Because oh, wow. The peace those people get will be the peace of the graveyard. Don't you love this speech already? The intention also is to reduce the number of people in this world. At the time when the new world order was enunciated, the population of this world was only 3 billion. The intention was to reduce it to 1 billion. Now the population of the world is 7 billion. It's more than that now. It's closer to 8. There will be a need to kill many billions of people or to starve them to death or to prevent them from giving birth in order to reduce the population of the... Did you catch that? There will be the need to kill billions or to stop them from, uh, uh, he's kind of stammering on his words here a little bit, keep them from reproducing. I mean, I tell you what, <laughs> it's right in your face. Wait a minute, where'd it go? All right, we jumped ahead somehow. The auto automatically plays the next one in line. It didn't it didn't use to click over that quick. So I backed it up so I can pause it here. Malaysia's former Prime Minister, Dr. Mahathir Mohamad, said that the Trans Pacific Partnership or TPPA is a new world order strategy by a powerful pact of people led by the US to dominate the world economy. Speaking at the international conference titled New World Order Recipe for Peace or War, organized by the Perdana Global Peace Foundation. Dr. See, that was in March of 2015. March 9th. See, 9th of March 2015. Putra International. Putra Yaya. Yaya. <laughs> okay, whatever. However, she said that. <laughs> I'm going to end it here. Pass it on, y'all. We're there. We are there. We're at the end. Yes, we are. The church age is over. And those who are found worthy to escape are going to soon be out of here. All right, according to the Book of Jubilees, today is the first day of Tabernacles.
And we know that Jesus took his apostles, his three favorite, yes, he had favorites, Peter, James, and John. They went up on the mountain and he transfigured right in front of them. And Moses and Elijah came down. And Peter said, Lord, it is right for me to make booths or Sukkotes or tabernacles for you and Moses and Elijah. And at that moment, they were left alone and Jesus was back to his regular human self. Now, he was showing them what the bride of Christ is going to go through up on a mountain. And when will it be the week of tabernacles? We're soon going to find out. And if it's not this year, like I say every year, I guess it's next year. Because it seems right for it to be this time of the year. The barley harvest. And then we got to come back and help those get ready for the wheat harvest. Those who were left behind because they weren't yet ready. You have sins to quit. You have demons to kick out. You have people to forgive. Go ask them. Go tell them whatever it is. Ask them to forgive you. All right, enough said. We're at the end. You best be getting everything right.